like you're having some trouble there, Russell. You could say that. I can't even find the power button. Well, let's see. Did you plug it in? Yeah, I got that far at least. Okay, the power is right here on the side. Turn it on like this, and then, what's this? There's a disc in there. Oh, okay. Well, let's take out the disc, and we're ready to go. You have to use the mouse to open the window, don't you? Yep. Just move the cursor over here like this. Click on this icon, and there's your window. Have you heard from Mary lately? What's she up to these days? I got an email from her last week. After she left our firm, she switched careers. Now she's a teacher. Really? Good for her. I bet she'll be great at it. Yeah, she always was good with kids. Have you heard from Mary lately? What's she up to these days? I got an email from her last week. After she left our firm, she switched careers. Now she's a teacher. Really? Good for her. I bet she'll be great at it. Yeah, she always was good with kids. Good morning, Skyline Real Estate. Uh, hello. My name is Marsha Wheeler. I saw your ad in the paper. How can I help you, Marsha? Well, I'm hoping you can help me find a place to live. Okay. First, I need to know whether you're looking for a house or an apartment. Oh, just an apartment. All right. And how many bedrooms do you need? Um, let me see. Two would be better. No, I think one is fine. Right. And are you looking for furnished or unfurnished? Well, I don't have very much furniture. We do have semi-furnished apartments. That means the apartment owner would supply some of the furniture, and you would supply the rest. That sounds good. Put me down for semi-furnished. Could you tell me what sort of furniture you'd need? Oh well, I have a bedroom set and a dining room table and chairs, so. Just the living room then. Right. What about location? Would you prefer to be close to the university or downtown? Um, the university, please. And can you make sure it's close to the subway? Does it matter if you're on a bus route? Not really. I only take the subway. The last thing is how much you're able to pay. Oh, for the rent? Yeah, I can pay up to about six hundred dollars a month. Good morning, Skyline Real Estate. Uh, hello. My name is Marsha Wheeler. I saw your ad in the paper. How can I help you, Marsha? Well, I'm hoping you can help me find a place to live. Okay. First, I need to know whether you're looking for a house or an apartment. Oh, just an apartment. All right. And how many bedrooms do you need? Um, let me see. Two would be better. No, I think one is fine. Right. And are you looking for furnished or unfurnished? Well, I don't have very much furniture. We do have semi-furnished apartments. That means the apartment owner would supply some of the furniture, and you would supply the rest. That sounds good. Put me down for semi-furnished. Could you tell me what sort of furniture you'd need? Oh well, I have a bedroom set and a dining room table and chairs, so. Just the living room then. Right. What about location? Would you prefer to be close to the university or downtown? Um, the university, please. And can you make sure it's close to the subway? Does it matter if you're on a bus route? Not really. I only take the subway. The last thing is how much you're able to pay. Oh, for the rent? Yeah, I can pay up to about six hundred dollars a month. Good morning, Skyline Real Estate. Uh, hello. My name is Marsha Wheeler. I saw your ad in the paper. How can I help you, Marsha? Well, I'm hoping you can help me find a place to live. Okay. First, I need to know whether you're looking for a house or an apartment. Oh, just an apartment. All right. And how many bedrooms do you need? Um, let me see. Two would be better. No, I think one is fine. Right. And are you looking for furnished or unfurnished? Well, I don't have very much furniture. We do have semi-furnished apartments. That means the apartment owner would supply some of the furniture, and you would supply the rest. That sounds good. Put me down for semi-furnished. Could you tell me what sort of furniture you'd need? Oh, well, I have a bedroom set and a dining room table and chairs, so. Just the living room then. Right. What about location? Would you prefer to be close to the university or downtown? Um, the university, please. 
And can you make sure it's close to the subway? Does it matter if you're on a bus route? Not really. I only take the subway. The last thing is how much you're able to pay. Oh, for the rent? Yeah, I can pay up to about six hundred dollars a month. Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. 
I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? Hi, Tina. Good to see you. I brought a fruit salad. Thanks, Jim. That was very thoughtful. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, but it's nothing fancy. I didn't have time. I just cut up some melon, banana, and grapes and threw them together into a bowl. No need to apologize. I'm sure the guests will love it. It will be a great side dish for the steak I'm grilling. Why don't you put it on the table next to the salads and chips? 